What's happening, I'm Dan Lawless here for West Ham Fan TV, and I'm giving my instant reaction to West Brom nil, West Ham nil, and that was hardly the most exciting game you'll see all season, crying out loud. West Brom. I mean, that is that was a typical West Brom performance there. Set up, lock up shop basically, um, and basically just sit back and hope to hit on the counter. Although, they didn't really do anything with it, did they? They had one chance near the end of the game. Really boring. I think our big chance was Obiang hitting it off the crossbar. Um, you know, some good individual performances. I thought Antonio had a good game, you know, taking on players, working hard. Um, I think if if he can just stay, if he can stay fit, he's going to be such an important player for us this season uh, in that squad, keeping him on the out wide and not sticking him as a striker or a right back or a right right wing back. So hopefully, if we don't have to, we can keep him there, and uh, as that's where he seems to thrive. Um, we stuck with the same formation, same lineup as we did against um, Huddersfield the other day, which you know I suppose you can't blame him for not changing the winning side. Um, Carroll was a bit quiet, he was winning a few things and you had again Hernandez out wide slightly which I'm sort of getting tired of seeing, you know, this guy is known as a poacher you know, he is one of the most clinical poachers that probably in the league and he's not getting a chance to get in the box too much which is frustrating, really frustrating and it seems like Bilic really is against playing 4-4-2 which is what I'd love to see. I'd love to see that like big man, little man combo, Carroll knocking the balls down, you know, Chicharito in the box to uh, to to pick him up and stick him in the back of the net. So it's just, to me, I, this isn't a game you can really judge Slav off. I mean, I'll talk about a couple of decisions I disagreed with in a bit, but in terms of results, you can't, you can't sit there and say, oh, we didn't win, Slav out, all of this sort of business. I mean, we've got a point you know we're moving up we you know we're moving up with gathering points rather than 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 uh, losing points so four points now we've got um and hopefully we can go and build on that for spurs but it's one of them ones where as much as we needed a win a lot of people would have said west brom tough place to go you'll take a point but there were a certain point some of the substitutions i really wasn't sure about i mean first he took off hernandez for ayu which he done in the Huddersfield game to great effect. Um, so you thought, okay, so IU is a, is a, is a little bit more of a wide player than Hernandez, so that kind of makes sense. All right, I'll get you. If you know if you're going to have Carroll on and you're going to have you can't put Hernandez in the middle, then fine, take him off, bring on IU. Um, but then he takes off Carroll for Sacco. Now this left me a bit puzzled because you think to yourself, well, why not just take off? Uh, if you're going to take Carroll, take off Carroll for Ayu if you want to play that same formation and then move Hernandez into the box and have Ayu out wide. What What is this aversion to put in Hernandez in the middle where he should be in that box? I don't understand it. Carroll seemed visibly angry at the substitution and bemused. Um, and once Hernandez and Carroll came off, it just, we seemed to really lack any threat. I mean, to me, you need to have at least one of those two in the setup. Um, you know, if you're having like a Sacco or, or an IU, you should be paired with Hernandez or Carroll. So I don't quite know what he was doing. Whether it was a case of, yeah, we're not going to get any, uh, we're not going to get a win here, so let's not risk him for the Spurs game. Which maybe you can understand. I mean, they are really hard to break down West Brom, so that would make sense then. But yeah, it's frustrating. Really frustrating. Probably going to be last of match of the day and I don't blame them. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, I've seen a lot of criticism for Slav. And yeah, like I said, some of the... I don't see why why he wouldn't go to 4-4-2. Um, especially when taking Collins off. But we'll see. We'll see what you guys say. But like I said, I'm not going to judge him on this. It's hard to even judge him on the Spurs game if we lose that. this Spurs. But let's just see over time. But it, I mean, if these decisions sort of pile up and we're not really picking up points at the same time that the odd decisions are there then you'd say yeah the pressure you know should be on but 
Yeah, let's let's wait and see. It'd be harsh, really harsh to bloody sack him off the back of that. So I think if anyone's calling for that, you're a bit mental. Um, but then some people might say it's a series of other games. So I don't know. Just leave, let me know what you think in the comments below. Fan cams will be being filmed now. And then post-match pint um, will be going up hopefully tonight, fingers crossed. Um, so make sure you watch all of that. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say, come on you irons.